If you were a geeky kid, you probably dreamed of a computer that would obey your voice commands. Apple Siri brings that dream to life. So why isn't it very good? In 2011, Apple revealed the highest profile voice assistant yet, but anyone who's used Siri will know it often gets it wrong, misunderstands, or fails to perform as advertised. What is it that makes Siri's job so complicated, and what does Siri need to improve? Siri's first job is speech recognition, also known as ASR. It breaks down audio into bite-sized sounds, which get checked against a vast database of spoken language. The process is extremely sophisticated, though because it processes data online, the system falls down if you've got no reception. And as Patrick Naylor from London Imperial College explains, it can be thrown off. They're going to find it very hard to recognise anything which isn't already contained in the training data. So if they come across unexpected accents or unexpected noise sources uh, in the audio, then it doesn't recognise them. Audio that doesn't match the database won't be recognised. That's why Siri doesn't always handle accents well and can make major mistakes in noisy, chaotic environments. Return fire! We need to keep those fuel cells charged! Siri, get me yeoman fields! OK, I'll lower the shields. Siri! Believe it or not, speech recognition is the relatively easy bit. The second half of what Siri has to do is a tougher problem, not just figuring out what you say, but what you mean. So this is um, natural language understanding, NLU, uh, where we're really trying to mm, uh, do something useful with the information that we've obtained. Siri has to deduce the intent behind your words. If you ask Siri for two tickets to a top grossing film at 9pm within a mile of your house, it has to identify from that jumble of words that what you want is to book movie tickets. As humans, we're great at grasping the subtext beneath simple strings of words. It's how we understand each other. Getting Siri to listen like a human is about much more than simple speech recognition. So the natural language understanding part of it is a much harder problem. Uh, and it's with that that most people, I think, feel dissatisfied at the current time from the services which are available. NLU is a relatively new issue compared with speech recognition, and there may be ways to make Siri a bit more human in future. For instance, Siri could be more conversational. If you ask for directions to a New York address, Siri could ask you if you know the way to Brooklyn Bridge and offer to direct you from there. Talking back could make Siri more powerful. If Siri was able to develop its dialogue capability beyond what it has at the moment, which is, which is not non-existent but relatively primitive, um, then that would make us feel, I think, much more able to get the information that we want in the way that we want it. Next, Siri relies on a microphone, but what if it also used your phone's camera to monitor your lips and gather extra speech data? This could filter out background noise or maybe even help Siri understand us when we've had one too many white wine spritzers. Siri, Siri, I need to you know everything you could tell me about monkeys. I need to know... Well, they, I seriously they cannot they wait for the robot time. uprising. Finally, Siri performs better the more it knows. If we want futuristic voice controlled assistance, the price we pay may be our privacy. Siri is more useful once it knows your address. Imagine what it could do with access to your medical records or an intimate knowledge of your finances. We may reach a point where the only way to make systems like Siri more useful is to let them into our private lives. Whether we're comfortable with that is something we'll need to decide, and soon. So we've got to get a match between what are our expectations and what are our concerns, particularly about privacy, and, and how do we, we align those, because we can't have it both ways. Do you think Siri will get better or not? Let me know and check back next time for another adventure in tech.